Welcome, welcome. Check. Microphone's plugged in. Sweet. Welcome back to the card table. It's been a while. I don't know how bad that music is in the background, but we're going to rock it. A little bit of Akira the Don. Thank you for not uh, issuing DMCA takedowns. Good music for cards. Because that's what we do here at the card table. Alright, we got a whole new setup going on. Let's see what's good. Um, had some changes in life recently. That's pretty awesome. So we're back. We've got uh, with the card cast going on. But that was soaking up a ton of time. Editing, long form, listening through all that. That's not going to work out anymore, apparently. So we're back at the card table. We're doing live Q&A. Uh, so anytime... I'll respond to the chat. We'll hang out. My goal is just to be here, show the process, talk about cards we've been buying, selling. Um, yeah, eventually I chop some of this stuff up into a podcast and put that out there there too. Uh, we'll get the interviews back going and uh, continue to share the joy and learnings of cards together because I think we can change the world one card at a time so I'm pumped because I've got a couple of subs actually coming back from PSA that's gonna be amazing in the next couple of weeks um, <laughs> it's gonna be really hard not to look at the grades I have to admit so we'll we'll have to see how that goes I, I, I I'm team look I'm like the car ripper so I'm gonna get in the car and like rip those packets pack packages Rip those packs open like in the car, so it's going to be really hard to not look at the grades as they come in. Um, but we'll do our best because I want to do a live reveal as well on stream. I think that's really, really fun to do. Um, so, yeah. A lot of my mind. A lot of my mind lately. Um, working on... I don't even want to get into it too much tonight, but... Working on a new job, I guess, for lack of a better term and uh that's part of what the card table has been all about from the beginning is um doing something good with the card collection that me and my dad built up like 20 years ago and so i mean we got the stuff behind us it's kind of flowed in over the top over time now but man all these psa submissions coming back not just psa other grading companies too so we'll, we'll talk a little bit about grading and the situation we're in right now but gonna be really glad to get some of those back in hand and we're gonna we're going to sell them, and we're going to start a business. Not a card business. Cards are going to be part of it. Um, I can't talk much more about it publicly right now, but it's going to be it's going to be awesome. I am I'm thrilled to death to create something with, I guess, what was invested 20-plus years ago with my dad and everything. So we'll set the kids' uh, college funds up as well. That That's numero uno, business number two. So that's going to be happening here. What I want to try to do is like share that journey. Um, like I said, I can't talk about it right now. Um, I'll just say it, it involves craft beer, and that's a dream I've had for 15-plus years. So I can't wait. I'll share it when I can, and things get a mo little bit more clear. It should only be a couple weeks, um, unlike my PSA submissions that are going to pay for part of this. So, yeah, that's the that's the story here, and that's the card table is really built upon was – um, I started going through the cards and my dad's like, I want to take part in it. And so I needed a means to share that with him. I'm like, well, let me just stream it to you since you're, you're over there and I'm over here. We got COVID to deal with. He had a um, bad lung condition, so we couldn't really hang out. But that's what we're trying to do now. Uh, still is talk, uh, about that, about those findings as they come in. And I got deep into the car market again. I mean, I'm I'm an obsessive person, so like, it just it was like riding a bike. Pick that thing up and ran with it. So that's what we're gonna do here tonight is just kind of talk about my current thoughts, what I'm working on, and that kind of starts with uh, what we've been buying. So this is kind of a sample, maybe not everything I've been buying. See, we got the cameras working. 
It's a great thing. Uh, we got the logo going on, rocking the card table with the goats, because that's what the card table is about. It's where the goats come together, right? We're trying that out. Um, so here's a 65 mantle I picked up. You know, vintage is such a different game too. Um, definitely gonna get this graded, even though it's, you know, by modern standards, a, a de debacle. But even a three, maybe a four. I, I think this is a solid three. Um, we'll see. I got a Ozzy Smith rookie. Look at those choppers. Look at those choppers. Again, like, I'll be happy return on investment wise with like a. Uh, six or a seven on this so it's a 79 tops I had to look at that again I'm like I, I get like the 78 79 mixed up so we got the mantle we got the the Aussie checking on like the the lighting here too if that works good we got a second year Mario Lemieux picked this up off of eBay um, I would call it dirt cheap it's got a few little flaws in there so like I mean, I want to get it graded just, again, I'm in kind of experiment mode too. So I think this would look good. Uh, these are going to SGC, actually. I think these are all going to look good in an SGC slab. And it's really important to me right now. This all depends on your strategy. Have your own. It's really important to me right now to have it back in hand quickly. So, 37 bucks, Card Collector 2. Um, Boca Raton, SGC submissions, Facebook group. These guys are doing it. It's like 10, 15 days turnaround. So this is a uh, Kareem. 79 Kareem. Again, pretty nice. I mean, for the card stock they use, I love the sky hook going on. Sweet little Kareem. So we get, like, that's one thing you're going to see. We got, I mean, we got Pokemon, we got basketball, we got, we got Willie Mays hanging out back here. We got football with Randy Moss. The best wide receiver ever. Get at me, argue. What's happening, man? Let's go. That's right. Card table's back. Um, it's it's good. It's good. This is a 57 tops mantle. Um, I, this one's sore, man, because look at the centering on it. Like 57s are tough. The print is great, and it's got this like rip down here. It's all good. I mean. It's probably still gonna one, but like the the quality of that card, it's got. I don't know if you can see it on camera, but it's got this ghost back here. They always said it was like the ghost of Babe Ruth, but it's got this really strong ghost print. So, I mean, that's here's my strategy. I mean, these mantles, like, I think it's number it it's mantle, right? So, and I don't mean to mean to be redundant, but in the vintage world right now mantle maze maze is like a fifth of mantles prices like the the 55 bowman back there that was a recent pickup too so look for deals I, i've learned to look a couple different places and i'm not going to go there tonight but like it's fun there's a lot of vintage out there um make sure you're buying it through reputable sources i'll say that much this is a 2003 refractor kevin garnett out of 300 it's number 204 there you can kind of get it maybe it's better in the top mm, yeah so super dope kg cards got shack walking away in the back guard um background i love kg pcm so those are going to be going is that six cards we'll send those into sgc uh here's one i'm not sending in but just dope moss is the best ever that's damn right you know um I wish he would have stayed with a team consistently uh, through the back half of his career, namely the Vikings. So you'll you won't be finding any like Patriots Moss or Raiders Moss or he played for Tennessee too. Like, ah, sad. This is actually this year's select football die cut, not numbered, just a tight looking card. So pick that up for like ten bucks. I, I couldn't argue. Again, for the for the PC, not subbing that one. Um, I haven't decided if I'm going to sub these yet or not. 
Again, it's not always about submitting, especially right now. We need to talk about the Raw game. That's where we're going to spend some time on Star Stock tonight. God knows how long I go. Uh, so I, I hope you're in for the long run. By the way, anybody in chat, too, like, let me know how the music is sounding right now, if it's even audible or not. So this is a second year Wayne Gretzky. Uh, it's his all-star card, so it's not his base card. Scratched, so this puck usually comes black. But, nice. I mean, I think it's got, like, this, like, blue cut line at the top kind of thing. It's all right. Maybe six or seven on that one. I I'm not sure I'm going to sub it or not, but it's what I'm working on. Like Lemieux, Gretzky, I'll eventually get into Ovechkin. He's just like hot right now because he's going to break the goals record. Um, again, third year. I think this is third year. Yeah, third year. 81, 82. Gretzky. This one's pretty sick. I think this one's got. Uh, it's got a. I don't know if you can see that corner right there. Let's see what the best camera is for this. Let me zoom on that. Zoom locked. What? I don't know none of that shit. Focus. There we go. Ah. There it is. That corner, yeah. Oh, see, that looks nice. Yeah. I got that new iPhone 12. Oof. That makes my, that looks, look at my hand. Sorry, that's weird. It's too, uh, too HD. Zooms back out. That's sick. All right. So, hockey, baseball, a little bit of football mixed in there. Not a lot of football. That's one of the things. I, I mean, I picked up... This guy's kind of hiding off screen. I picked up a Randy Moss for cheap. So, I am not actively participating in, like, the uh, the modern football craze right at this moment. Select scares... Select scares me, I gotta be honest. Um, as I pick up here, some of the things going on with the retail release and... The consequences of that I just I, I gotta wait I gotta wait a little bit longer on that retail impact and select market so that I can say like maybe the best maybe the best way to approach football right now is actually betting on the draft class by like buying some buying some wax um, I'm not ripped any wax something like I'll, I'll show you in a minute. Something weird is going... Weird. Peculiar. Uh, abnormal. Out of the norm. Is going on with football. So let's take a look at that. Because um, I was looking at a particular segment. And it was like low serial number Hall of Famers. Um, it's like Moss, Manning, Brady. Like try to find like serial numbered stuff. And looking at like that price versus other low serial in basketball, right? So let's first like level set on the football market right now. I think that's really important. Let's look up a couple of like Hallmark cards. So we all know Brady, but the next competing faction would most likely be Mr. Patrick Mahomes um, with Mr. Brady, right? So we're going big overhead screen face yeah screen face all right so got the screen over here so what we're working with here is this over the last six months it's up now this is logarithmic so I can show I can show linear too by the way this is card ladder awesome tool for anybody out there, you'll see me use it a lot. That's one of the advantages here. You guys can come hang out, ask me questions. We'll, we'll jump on Car Ladder. I'll be on eBay. I'll be on Starstock. We can look at all that stuff live. That's what I want to do. Hang out, chat, talk cards. Seems really informal, but there's a there's a plan to that. There's not. I'm making this shit up as I go. Ooh, I don't know if I can swear. Well, 
There it is. Uh, so Mahomes, right? End of the Super Bowl, we get the big spike. 1300 Let's even go last three months right now. So Mahomes is down post-Super Bowl. We could expect that. Down 45%. Okay, okay. Six months, he's still up. 15%. Let's go to Josh Allen. Maybe hype number two quarterback, right? So we're going to go 2018 Prism, PSA 10. Again, just benchmarking right now, not looking at anything. What's up with that? That's six months again. Okay. Josh Allen, right? Let's go. Let's go somebody who was a questionable bust last year. Kyler Murray. In a lot of people's minds. He had a he had a rough year, right? I don't think so. I think he had a good year. What happened here? Like the off season in football was in December now. Um that's really weird. It's like there's no there's no off season. So here's where he exits the playoffs or doesn't get to the playoffs and it's sitting at 500 right now. Maybe it dips off after the draft. I don't know. This is I mean, this is what I was seeing just like high level checking out on the internet. We're not even look at Brady because he's kind of outside the total norm, right? But stream chat read only. I don't know if I can chat back with YouTube on this thing. Yeah, if you're on YouTube, tough shit for now. Um, one other quarterback, modern, maybe not a quarterback. Let's go like McCaffrey or somebody like that. I wonder if he's in here. Christian Mack. All right. So dude was hurt most of last year. Um, I'll be back this year, but same thing. See, there's like this weird behavior in football. Like maybe not everybody got in, so like people didn't need deleverage as much as like in basketball. We're seeing this like spike and then deleveraging and then swing back up for the playoffs. Baseball, you see kind of the same thing. Off season was a little bit earlier this year, but football, it doesn't appear to have happened. And what happened? Like it's almost like it, everybody deleveraged during the season and maybe that's whoa yeah so that Christian McCaffrey was at 800 whoa okay so that's a little bit different we went 200 to 400 we're sitting around 400 right now okay uh Dalvin Cook maybe kind of a lesser known what did he do so he's at 200. McCaffrey was at 400. This is the one-year graph. So we see swing up, falls during the season, swings back up, and then it stayed there. I don't understand in football right now why it's just staying there. So I guess what I, my my gut tells me is this happens again. That this this plummet that happened in season whether it happens like in the draft or whatnot does this happen again where things fall um so that give me th this piece of information and this is all circumspection i'm not a uh advisor of any kind please this is purely like me looking at this going what the hell this is strange like why would i invest in this um so, and we can do this with other players too. Like, uh, oh shoot, who's Tennessee is running back? Total air brain right now. Tennessee RB. Who that? Derrick Henry. See in here. Nice. All right. So. Here's his 2016. Like, if this guy has the same pattern, we looked at quarterback. Need I say more? All right. So modern football, strong. Like, hasn't gone down kind of strong. Weird kind of strong. 
Even the nine. I mean, that's cool. I don't think Henry's card. 775, really? Versus Delvin? I mean, Pop 86. What was Delvin's? Delvin's the man. And I'm, I'm biased, but... 410, alright, alright. But still, that's only... I don't know, I'm not saying, but I'm saying. Get you some Delvin Cook. Pardon me. Alright. So, seeing that, I want to try to... I'm trying to buy in troughs. Okay? That's... Troughs or before it takes off right now. To maximize my return. And this is very much, yep, flipper mentality. But it is what it is. I've already stated my purpose here. Um... I want to fund my child's, my three kid, my I can't even say it. My three kids' education, and I want to build a business out of this that will include cards. But we, there's a, you know, certain turnover that needs to occur to make those things happen. So we're all in this for the long run. I want to be sustainably in the card market. I'm not looking to get in, get out, or anything. I mean, obviously, I got to look at the stuff behind me. I mean, that's been sitting there for 20 years. Not here, here, but you got what I'm saying. So. I want to try to find things again in troughs with opportunities to grow or undiscovered territory rate. Right? So let's look at uh, let's look at Randy Moss, 1998 tops, Chrome. There's a nine. So I had one of these up until recently, and it's been all over the place. Yeah, see it repeaked, it peaked, and then it came back down. 220 and now it's coming back down again will it get to a hundred I don't know I mean those we're seeing these different like formations and I think that's one really powerful point of uh, car ladder here is using that data and having that clean data to work with you begin to understand it how it moves over time so uh, point being We're seeing this dip. That's what we're looking for. Where now, again, where does it get down to? So, my operating theory right now is there's a trigger event wherever there's like a breakout, and this is very much stock analysis, very layman's bullshit here. But you, you'll hit a floor. So, let's call it 300 is the floor. And then we get like a trigger. Yep. So, it goes like 20, 30% trigger up. And it'll climb to 3x. It's like 800. Peaks around 845. So we get this like 3x from the depths here. And then it comes back down to a new floor. Which was around 60% of the previous high. Or the previous floor. So 60% higher. So if we're at 300. If we're going to take 60%. That's like another 180, right? Let me, let me calculator. I think that's. So we're looking at like 480 as the new floor. Like maybe that's the buy mark. 450 ish. Utilities. Yeah, 480. It took way too long to do that math. I gotta trust myself. So it's sitting right there. 467. I mean, 450. So is that a buy now? That that's the question I'm trying to answer. Like, where do you get in? Where do you get out? What are the new floors? Because that's what we're seeing set. I would argue. I think that's probably a new floor on Peyton Manning, even though. See, it did the same thing. All right, so let's test that same algorithm. Two thirty. Two forty. So we can call it two thirty, two forty. Everybody feel good with that? Let's call it two forty. It three X's. 
again, 700. So the new floor coming from 240 would have been about 384. Where does it do that? It's like here. So it does dip below that. Interesting. It gets down to around 300 again. So it goes from like 240 to 300. It's like a 25% up. Hmm. How do you minimize risk? Maximizing upside while minimizing downside. Oh, that's a cleaner graph. Maybe it was, maybe I, that nine differs. So I was calculating all this on tens the other night. So it goes from 1300. Yeah, it's called 1300. Triples up again. Um, maybe five X's, right? And then hits a new floor around 17, 1800. Low point here, 15, 1600. Let's call the floor like 17, 50, 1800. Two thousand. So it's like that. So two thousand was the sixty percent point, but here it sits at two thousand when it breaks out again. So even if you're buying at two, you're still able to come back up. So it falls 50, 60% from peak to a new floor. I don't know. What did the 10 do for Moss? Eleven hundred, twelve hundred. Let's call eleven hundred. So from four hundred to eleven hundred, three x, back down to five, four fifty. Breakout happens here again, right around five fifty. So. Six forty would have been the, the buy point. Which would have happened here on the way down. So like do you buy on the way down? Like you're never gonna buy at the exact bottom, you're never gonna sell at the exact top. But even if you buy at six forty and then you're out at nine again. So do these like waves get smaller then? So it's at six twenty. Breakout is at Five to six forty, yeah, one point six times four hundred, four fifty five. Hmm. Thinking about this too much, aren't I? All right. So, seeing diagnosable trends in older <laughs> cards is what drove me there. Um, wanting to stay out of the swings of modern cards, um, deploying that swing day trading to star stock and focusing physical card buying into, uh, modern greats, hall of famers, people that aren't competing anymore. So that's what we came here to do. By the way, we got the, the new webpage cooking. It looks really bad right now. But uh, thecardtable.net, come check us out. Links to the store and all that stuff there too. So that'll be fun to be working on there. We'll be blogging, putting show notes up. We'll link to the podcast. I'm not sure what the like the live stream stuff and how we're going to do that. We'll see. We'll see how we want to rock it. All right. So let's do some serial number searching. So the one guy I was going after was Moss, and I was finding low, like like today a Prism, I lost it, but 50 bucks, 48 bucks for one of, number one of 10, Prism Gold, 
legendary something, uh, Randy Moss. There's others that were going for like 100, 200. I thought that was a good buy. Should have picked it up. Um, so that's when I've been buying, but I wanted to expand my search now to some other people in that like Hall of Fame genre. Um, football, I guess, in particular. Guys like Peyton Manning. Um, because I think he's undervalued. Breeze has just had a big run up. But I'm just generally interested, like, what's like a guy like Barry Sanders, too? Like, does Barry Sanders have an of 50 from, like, when he played to 2002 autograph for 175? That seems remarkably inexpensive. Dang, Barry's got cheap auto autographs. See, like, here's a Hall of Fame patch of 50. Now, I'm not going to buy it. I'm not saying to buy this, but, like, just interesting. 50 bucks. Compare that to, like, the top running back. It, it, it's exquisite. Top running back of today. Either today's cards are extremely overpriced or Barry's underpriced. Or both. Could be both. So, touchable for under 50. Um, God, I should have done more homework on like QBs. Can I filter by football? No. Why is that not working? There we go. I don't know this word. Like Tom Largent, there's a good one. I mean, Tom Brady is obvious, but Baker, Patrick Mahomes, Peyton, Rogers. Dude, I bet you Rogers has some dirt cheap low cereals. Like. Alright, what do we got here? So these are serial number only. I said of 25, but it's getting a bunch of other stuff. Oh, number 25. That's fine. Twenty-five of fifty Black Friday. Yeah. What cool looking stuff too. I was looking at the show notes from last time. It's funny too, the uh, 2012 Prism, still a believer in that, but I I got rid of some of mine that I picked up back then, traded. Twenty five of seventy five Phoenix, like that's a dope looking card, refractor, twenty bucks. I guess it would be better to look like, all right, Rogers Prism. Let's get rid of the, let's see what he has, just serial, or select, I guess, would be another one. Ooh, select might be really good right now. Because there's that hype around that. Buy now, lowest, Prism only, Aaron Rodgers. Let's go. Give me some goodies. 199. 
see all that select stuff is creeping in already oh prism that's right they always put like so color match is another big thing we can go for with mr rogers the green green and gold orange of 199 for 20 bucks just grabbing some data points here 199s for 20 that's cool mojo of 49 die cuts sucker for that 199 2018 prism 26 bucks ooh that looks tight that orange 28 hyper that's cool it's com c though i can't do com c right now it takes forever look at that though ooh Hmm. What else we got? A Raj of 275. I want like something really low with Rogers if I'm gonna do something. Under 100, I guess, when I say really low. Devante of 75, purple, 20, 20, 30. Of 99, got game. There's that hyper. 175, that's last year. Ooh. That die cut's sick. That blue. Premier. Of 99. Hmm. Sorry, this is probably pretty boring. That's what I was looking for. Look at that. That is tight. I mean, the hair in the picture is kind of rough, but... Dude. What's that back look like? Ooh. Yeah, those are always kind of choppy. Oh, that point is douched on the bottom. God damn, be kind. So, but that is sick. Okay. 45 on that. God, that's cool. I'm going to save that for later. Make an offer type thing, right? Out of 30... Color match, yeah, you got it. Forty-five bucks. Oh man, I bet you that looks so cool in hand. That green scope. Of thirty. That's a cool card. There's another one. Green kaleidoscope. See, I don't think I could do anything over fifty bucks in this this hunt. Because it's got to be something that's like liquid, grade, maybe gradable. Like, like anybody grade that stuff? 2017, Aaron Rodgers, select, die cut. PSA. Let's do it. Somebody did. The of 10. <laughs> 45. Ooh. Nice camera work there. Yeah. So, maybe that's a secondary impact of select, actually. Is more people get to have a taste of it this year and then interesting so more people experience it which drives demand back into the previous years die cuts lower numbered stuff because like all the stuff that's coming out of uh blasters that's none of that's numbered but there's a lot of it i mean look at there's a ton of this stuff so Hmm. So if that's true, 
where where's people where are people gonna go they're gonna go select serial numbered I guess it's the guys we were looking at before like what's a McCaffrey Like I just completely ignored the year I put in there. That's sick. Really? 20 bucks? Dude. I mean, I know it's not his rookie card, but damn. What am I missing? That's so cheap. Hmm. Do you not have so? Maybe he didn't have a die cut in 2018. Dalvin Cook, 2018. It's 2018 we were looking at, right? Dalvin Cook, select. Maybe it's just 2017. Color match Dalvin. Of 99s, of 75 purples, those are pretty sick. Okay, so the McCaffrey. Stop there. Too pricey for me. Did they do 2019? It's not say well die cuts are the numbered ones, that's why I'm looking those up, but oh, it's hard. Like who's gonna have a big year? Michael Thomas? Cause Breeze is moving on. Jerry Judy. I'm trying to think of like receivers I think are gonna have a big year this year. DK already blew up. Like, who's the next DK Metcalf, right? That's who everybody's going to be trying to find. <laughs> Let's ask Google. Who is next DK Metcalf? <laughs> no, nobody, right? Uh, let's check out Starstock. What's going on over there? So, football. Let's look at a few more. Most traded, newest arrivals. Let's go most traded. Judy, J Love. Pittman's interesting. Zach Moss. Acres has got to be interesting. Rugs. Man, there's a lot of good second year guys. Dang. I don't see anybody here that's like jumping out at me right now. This guy's probably my biggest. I, I think Judy's a monster. Jerry Judy. Hmm. Nothing really jumping out to me there. Let's see what else they got here. Newest arrivals, latest listings, best offer. High end. What are all this? What are people buying right now? 
bunch of random stuff, huh? Mason, somebody's stocking up on Mason Rudolph. Lane Bowden Jr. Hmm. I don't know. Yeah. Low serial numbered Hall of Famers. You saw Rogers there. I think there's more to that play. I'm not quite there yet, but I'm going to keep looking. Been buying cheap Randy Mosses, like 10 bucks for a 25. Like it. Where'd it go? This thing. Uh, this one. Fantasy favorites. This is from Tops Pristine. Got the refractor game worn jersey. Number 18 of 25. You can call that Tomas's original number, right? I mean, not the like greatest card, but it's of 25 refractor game worn. I think it was like 10, 15 bucks. So, those opportunities apparently exist in football. I cannot figure it out though, uh, so I need to spend a lot more time in the football market. Uh, one thing I wanted to jump over to we're a little bit of eBay. Let me get this loaded up here. Is the wrestling market. Woo! Yeah. We can just go big screen zoom. Screen face overhead, screen face. Not the one. That's the one. Get a hang of it. So, Stone Cold, we got a BGS 9.5 coming off of the 97 Cardinal. I mean, this set is just bonkers. Even the 8s, around 350, 400 now. Um, there's a 9. Wow. That's pretty sick, actually. That SGC. I mean, you can see where it's off centered, but I just like the way that looks. Looks dope. Tuxedo. Um. Another set that I think is great and maybe hasn't gotten all the attention in the world is the 1988 Wonderama. It's starting to break out, so this has got Sting's True Rookie in it. Uh, this one right here. Look at that, nine. Yeah, and these are listings, so like, I know I'm not looking at true comps, but. I think I sent one of these in to get graded. <laughs> I can't remember. I can't find it. It came in with a couple other cards that, but uh, this also has a really cool Ric Flair. So this is the cover card, which is all right. This one here, yeah. Awesome, awesome Ric Flair card. So that's out there and then there's I mean, there's a bunch of stuff in here right but road warriors yeah look at that so super cool cards um just wanted to show off the 1988 wonderama there's the road warriors best wrestling tag team ever get at me beautiful Oh, there's a 10. That's nice. Looks a little OC, but... <laughs> uh, one more that I wanted to highlight for people out there it was the 1991 Merlin WWF set. This is the Undertaker's Rookie. Another just really cool set. Uh, it was German and Italian, I believe. 
So there's the taker. And a solid five. Jeez. Or 200. Uh, those have gone up a little bit. Yeah, look at that. The Undertaker Cone Paul Bear. God. That is such a cool card. I'm not make, recommending you know making any plays or anything like that. I just wanted to highlight these sets are out there. Where to go find the Undertaker, Steve Austin's rookie. Just cool card sets, and I think there's hidden gems in these because um, it's not like the '82 All Stars, it's not like the '85 Tops, the '97 Cardinals gone crazy and then there was like the 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 panini the stickers with the rock Oof. those are uh blasting off too so yeah this one's tight the legion of doom so the road warriors became the legion of doom look at those guys shoulder pads and all what a rush um, that might be all she wrote. I want to look at one more thing here. Football. Oh, totally stealing a play here, but uh, game used Kobe cards. That's another thing I was looking up yet. I'm not going to dive into it right now, but interesting market under a hundred bucks. Game used, serial numbered, Kobe jersey cards. Something to pay attention to. We talked about what's going to happen with Select. By the way, cheers to beer. Uh, we love craft beer here at the card table. Oh, the last one. I got to. I got to crack Bowman baseball today. Box came in from Tops. Let's see if we can find these. I, I liked it. I, I really like the set. So So I actually got uh we'll kinda do this. Those are other cards. Cards everywhere. I love the design of Bowman. So this is a refractor of four ninety nine. Tyler Callahan. Um, let's see if I can get that to focus in. Hold on. Yeah, there we go. Cool. So, really nice looking cards. I love this design. It says at the top, prospects, or... I mean, just nice, clean. There's a lot to it, but it's just clean. Bowman, Bowman back looks like Bowman back. Number eight prospect, eight for 20. I love Bowman. Reading Bowman cards is one of the best ways to learn about baseball. Buy yourself a Bowman box and read it. <laughs> read the cards. Uh, this was a orange 10 of 25. Garrett Crochet. I think he broke into the bigs this year. Those extremely hard. Will be fascinating to watch. Slider change up. Anticipating him at the top of the rotation. Lefty throwing a hundred. So cool card. Probably try to move some of these. And I was actually happy pleased with my auto too. So very rare, but I got a numbered, low numbered auto. This is Jiwan Bay. Bye. Bye bye. Bay. Prospect first bowman. Gold shimmer. Beautiful. Again, like Damn. Like, really, really pleased with the quality of the cards. Um, retail is going to be hitting shelves this week. So, now this is a hobby box. That's why I got the, the low numbered auto. But they exist in all that stuff. Now, the thing I'll say about Bowman this year is there's not any Jason Dominguez's or anybody like that going on quite yet. So... That's going to be a challenge. Um, Austin Martin, Maximil Costa, and uh, Blaze Jordan 
I think that honestly it's got more to do with his name than, than his talent right now. But, you know, Bowman's not the th kind of thing you're looking to make a ton of money on right now. That's something people need to understand with Bowman baseball. It's like this is about a, a longer-term play, three years, four years, from their first Bowman to when they're going to be in the major leagues. But the upside is substantial. Look at Bowman papers for Acuna, Tatis. I mean, not everybody's going to be Acuna, Tatis, and Soto. I understand that. Um, so maybe that's a bad comparison. <laughs> but but those first Bowmans, and especially the autos, are going to be uh, – substantial cards especially leading up all the way to their their tops flagship rookie so the challenge there is do you grade i don't have an answer to that answer that currently um i think mid-season we get psa back so we'll see some things there but we also need to be conscious of like the csg well yeah csg they're way back to like months to months just to receive stuff now so better off just waiting for uh good old psa to drop in some new value subs and we'll see how that goes come come july i guess that's the best we got so that's my plans heading into the, this week is bowman retail try to grab some of that we should see more select retail we should see i mean some, Retail should open up again now. We can just like the one box limit or whatever. Um, try to find it online. That's the other best place to buy it. Select modern football stuff. Kind of staying away from right now. This year's at least. Um, looking into past stuff. Hall of Famers. Low numbers. That's my game plan for the buying of the week. We'll continue hunting vintage deals on Facebook groups, frankly. Um great place to find it ebay has been torn apart w with vintage lately uh there's nothing there nothing uh card shows as well so try to hit up a couple card shows and find some vintage deals there or my main man over at the ballpark he's always copping deals cal shout out to cal at the ballpark here in uh, minnesota that's all we got for the card table i'll be uh jumping on twitter and giving away a card table shirt this week um because my 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 man man raji god i can't talk see gave me some sweet shirts so we'll be giving those away um thank you raji check out his business it's at eadscleaning.com that's the least i can do is shout out to him for for hooking me up with these t-shirts and helping to grow the card table brand um i've been trying to do this i, I don't want to like overestimate what i can get done but i, I want to try to do this you know every day for a little bit and then um break into some more like podcasts too so much more like developed content not just the free reign q a whatever we want to do type of thing all the time but that's what we got done tonight we got about an hour in my brain's done for the day did a lot of stuff today uh sunday night so good to be here back at the card table uh, check out the card table.net. You can find us at the underscore card underscore table on Twitter. That's my main haunts. I'm on Instagram and stuff like that, but I don't pay that much attention to that. Twitter is where it's at. Um, shout out to the guys at card ladder and it's probably all I got for today. Yeah. Hit me up. Let's chat. Always open to chat and, uh, just look forward to being here, hanging out at the card table. Thumbs up. The experiment worked today. See ya. Have a great night.